This video will present solutions to the VCE 2021 Mathematical Methods Written Examination 2, Section B, Question 2. As the four rectangles shown in the diagram equally divide the horizontal distance from x equals 0 to x equals 1, the width of each rectangle is a quarter or 0 0.25. Part B. The total area of these four rectangles is the product of their width by their heights, as determined by the function y equals x squared. This can be most efficiently calculated by a class pad as follows. Part C. The area between the graph of y equals x squared, the x-axis, and x equals 1 can be found by evaluating this definite integral. Part D. The four rectangles described in part D look like this. An approximation for the definite integral from negative 2 to 2 of f of x can be found by summing the signed area of these rectangles. Using the graphical information provided, this sum is 6 plus 2 plus minus 4 plus minus 6. This gives an approximation of minus 2. Part E. The area between these two functions, bounded by their intersection points at 0, 0 and 1, 1, can be calculated using a definite integral. Part F. If y equals x squared is transformed to y equals ax squared, then after this dilation the graph of the area in question will look like this, in the case when a is between 0 and 1, and so the quadratic function is squashed down relative to the square root function. The a values that make this area equal to 1 third can be found by solving this equation involving a definite integral. This equation can be solved on a class pad. In the case where a is between 1 and 2, then the quadratic function is stretched up relative to the square root function, and so the diagram will look slightly different. It'll look something like this. To form the definite integral equation corresponding to this diagram, the intersection point of these two functions is needed. The new integral equation will need to account for the fact that the upper and lower bounding functions change either side of the intersection point. The new equation will look like this. This equation can be solved on a class pad. 